uh, Nathaniel here for a bit of data science and scikit-learn, where today we just learn a bit of data science and a bit of scikit-learn. There's not too much left to learn. Um, uh, as you can see, this is the entire lesson, uh, very short. Uh, it's model persistence. Uh, so this is saving and loading your model. Um, and you could, you could probably just read this slide right here and just sort of understand completely what the uh, what is going on. Um, I just thought it would be sort of fun to leave with, with sort of like persistence. You know? I've been persistent in going through this class. Persistent in that the knowledge will persist onwards. Uh, okay, so let's let's just sort of get started here. Um, we can load up the classic stuff. We've got we've got our SVC support vector classifier. We've got the iris data set. Oh, so much fun we have with that. And we go ahead and we do the classic thing. We fit, we fit our, we fit the SVC to the iris data set. We've done this so many times, um, and it's really nice. Yeah, you can just pickle dump this class. <laughs> that's right. It's that's it's that simple. Uh, so we go ahead, we dump it to to a string. Uh, we can then load it back in, and we can predict with that with whatever we loaded. Um, and the prediction is right. Um, so it's, it's about that simple. You can just dump it to a string. Um, in addition, um, you can dump larger models. Um, so uh, this is more efficient on objects that carry large numpy arrays, so larger models. Uh, you can use joblib. This is from scikit-learn external. And you can't dump it to a string. You need to dump it to a file. So we can dump it to this model.pickle. We can load it back in. Um, that's it. Um, this is super useful when trying to deploy uh, models. Uh, I can I can tell you that <laughs> it's, it is so useful. Um, okay, well, so I'm not going to beleaguer you with any tears, but I, I certainly have appreciate your support going through. Uh, please leave any comments uh, that you'd like uh, requesting more. I will go ahead and do a wrap up video on Scikit Learn, and thank you for persisting all the way to here.